Hey everyone, so we're here right now in the service elevator, um, downtown Calgary, delivering the, the conference tables to Olympia Trust Company. Um, we've got the two tables all wrapped up in foam beside us here. We've got like the whole team here too, just because these are so heavy and it's gonna take everyone to get them lifted in. Um, but we've got a bit of a travel to go with these on a cart, then up another elevator, then in the office, so we'll, we'll check in with you guys along the way. So far, well, one half of the table is up there, and then we also got got the legs up there. We also brought a few wall art pieces that we're going to give to them. So that's all upstairs. We've got the last table still downstairs here, and it is going in this elevator. Now we came and measured these elevators beforehand, and we've only got like a couple inches of clearance, so it's going to be very tight. Uh, but everything should fit. Then we'll get the legs screwed on while it's upside down and flip it over. Well, we just got done our delivery at Olympia Trust Company. The boardroom table is in. Check it out. This is looks absolutely stunning in here. It's probably one of the heaviest tables we've ever made, um, but it actually ended up not being not too hard at all to get in here. One big slab of clear walnut, 270 liters of the solid black resin, and we, we just couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Sure. A big thank you to Olympia Trust Company for just letting us do this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this whole process, and. Uh, it's really exciting. <laughs> My dad and I just made it to Gobi Walnut. We just got out of the car and pulled up and yeah. <laughs> already it's amazing. Oh wow man, There's we hate this stuff. Yeah. It's horrible, it's horrible. There's wood everywhere, yeah. nothing we like. So let's let's head on in and go meet Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Good to finally meet you. Yeah, nice nice to, to meet you, Aaron. Yeah, pleased to meet you, man. How's it going? Too good. All right, fantastic. Thanks man. for accommodating us yeah, here. Yeah. We appreciate yeah, this. This is awesome. Oh, that's a gnarly piece. Look at that, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we, we got into that one. We're only gonna get a few boards out of it. So yeah. I'm not quite sure. We're thinking about leaving it for a bench. Or yeah. Yeah, I can see that, right? So this is some of the maple burl that we just cut, like six inches thick. Oh, okay. Is it all live edge on one side? It's all live edge on one side. Nice. It came out of a big rotten log. Yeah. So well, it have to be like two pieces put together or cast, cast. put resin on the outside or something. Even just square that off, fill the little pockets or something. Yeah. I think we have two stacks like this. Nice. Oh. That one maxed out the sawmill. Wow! Look at those, eh? That is yeah. a slab. So this one came, it was about 20 minutes from here, and it had a thousand acres of these. Yeah. So it had started dropping limbs on this old historic town. Wow. Is this a claro? Yeah, it's a claro. It is, eh? So one thing I've always wondered, are 
Is Oregon Black Walnut Claro, or are they different? It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um, the, the real difference is that it's growing up in Oregon, so the soil is slightly different. Yes. In terms of like the workability, the look is pretty much the same. Yeah. Our stuff can be a little more purple. Okay, I found that. The, yeah. Yeah. It can be a little more like blackish to purple, whereas the Claro can be a little more red. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also think that you can get more get more figure out of the, the true Claro from California. Yeah. Where our stuff tends to be a little more clean. Yeah. And we also don't have like the bug issues in the extreme like wind and heat issues. Right. Okay. Things tend to rot now. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends. A lot of it just comes down to the law. Yeah. Yeah. But we were kind of noticing that even, like, you saw the last big conference table we did with your slab, right? Yeah. We noticed the color is different than the stuff we get from, like, GL Veneer or something. Yeah, right. It's a little bit different, yeah. but it's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. still Neither beautiful. It's different, it's still, right? It's so similar looking. Yeah. yeah. We have a hard time. I mean, we buy logs from, from California, too. Sometimes, yeah. depending on the log and where it comes from, it's hard to tell. You can't even different. tell, like. You can, yeah. get, you can get Oregon black walnut from these parts that looks almost exactly like Claro. Yeah. yeah. More red. Yeah. yeah. And at this point, it's everything has been cross pollinated. Yeah. It's, it's turning sure into yeah. 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 Sure yeah. yeah. Well, that's an amazing walk, Oh, Look that's sweet. That thing. Jeez. So this is air drying right now. Uh, this we just cut. So yeah. What we'll do, and you can see what the guys are doing now. They're what we'll, what we'll do is pull the slabs out, photograph them measure them, inventory them, and then they'll go on stickers and then it'll start air drying. Okay, nice. All right, well right over here, everyone, these are some uh, some big white oak slats. You don't see too many big, big white oak slats like this, so check it out. Nice, thick, three-inch material. Gorgeous, gorgeous stock. Is that a big walnut down there? Yeah, that one's On the bottom, yeah. Got some white oak in back there. White, white oak. oak on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. This stuff is kiln dried though? No, it's not. No. What if it is, eh? We have the kiln dried stuff in the warehouse here and then we have a few others. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But this stuff would be ready to go to a kiln? Yeah. So yeah. from the time we say, okay, if they come today and pick something, how long until it's drier? I think a lot of it depends on the slab, but like okay. this one here would be maybe eight weeks or so. Oh, okay. We have a lot of options that would be dry in like the eight to 12 weeks. Right? Eight to 12 weeks. They're needing it around April. April? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta pick some stuff, that's for sure. We have some to have some dry stuff. Yeah. 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 Wow, so this is uh some of this material that's outside here right now, this is actually gonna be for the Marriott because Marriott Hotels is coming to Gobi Walnut at two o'clock and they're gonna pick out, we've got three tables for doing them for them and also some wall paneling. So they're gonna pick out all their material here at Gobi and we're gonna film that whole process. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day and then we should we're gonna try and buy some stuff of our own as well if we have time. What do you think? Mark the Wow, check this material out. So these are uh, these are some big 14 foot Clara walnut slabs here. They're fresh, freshly cut, really wet. Cut, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this fresh cut material here. That's some good live edge right It does, right? That make killer table. Yeah. Nice river there. Maybe you split it. Oh, there's there's like you're saying about the growth rings, eh? Yeah, some of them are huge. They're huge. Yeah. Look at these growth rings oh. here, Dylan. Yeah, those are elm. Wow. Oh, that's an elm, eh? Yeah, yeah. Elm will grow really fast. That grew wow. very quick, eh? <laughs> you know, one thing that, that we've noticed here at Gobi so far is just they don't waste anything. They're kind of similar to us in that way. Like, we try and recycle all of the wood that comes in our business, and Gobi's the same way. Like, these pieces of wood here really wouldn't have been, been that usable, but look what they're cutting it into. Beautiful, nice little one-inch thick, uh, single live edge material. Lots can be done with that. So now he's just getting ready to slice this one up. We'll see how he does it. We got the sawmill. Start all this. Guys go down. He's just setting that thing up. So that just pinches the log into place there. He's gonna bring his blade up, 
lower that blade. There we go, we're gonna make that, that first little cut right here. Wow, look at that thing go. gets cut on that saw, they'll make big stacks like this. And then one thing that Aaron's been telling us that they do here at Gobi is they actually air dry all of their material before it ever sees a kiln. Uh, the reason for the air drying is that you get a lot less uh, deformation, less changes in shape, there's less cracking, and you just end up with a more consistent uh, defect-free piece of wood. So this right here, this is just part of their air drying uh, yard. They have a whole nother big yard about 45 minutes away from here that they have way more material, but you can see all of this stuff has been slabbed. There's actually a really nice curly maple we're interested in. It's all been slabbed and it's sitting air drying. So after they air dry it, then it comes to the kiln. So right over here, I'm gonna show you, we got a couple of uh, containers that they've turned into kilns. So. These open up on the front, they're fully set up to dry wood, and they can take that wet material and make it usable. So, really, really awesome setup here, and we're, we're pleased to be doing business with these guys because of their commitment to recycling and the use of salvage material, which is a, it's a huge part of our business model. Uh, you know, it's, we look for that when we're buying material, so we're very happy to be working with Gobi. Gobi Walnut, if I didn't mention already, is in Portland, Oregon. And someone else that we've just talked to for a long time on Instagram and seen his videos on YouTube is Blacktail Studio. And he is also here in Portland, Oregon. So his truck actually just pulled by us. Uh, I'll let you guys meet him here. You should check out his YouTube channel and his Instagram. And I think we're gonna be going for lunch here pretty soon. Anyway, you guys find some decent wood? Yeah, yeah, we found some good yeah. stuff. We got the Marriott's gonna be here in a couple hours or something. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, they're picking out some big slabs. They're so they're personally coming to look at the yeah. slabs? Yeah, all the architects and designers yeah. and stuff are coming. How are they actually telling, like, being able to tell if it's a good slab or not? <laughs> they're, that's what we're, we're here for. Help yeah. They invited us to help give them some. Yeah. Well, yeah. we are done the meeting with everyone from the Marriott uh, and all the architects and the designers were here as well. We've made some selections today. So what we picked today is we picked the, the one slab for the front desk. So there's going to be a a top section for the front desk and then a lower handicap section so to just to have accessibility. Um, here is this slab for the front desk. Now we picked the most premium quality material we could for this front desk because it's going to be seen by thousands of people you know every day and you can just see the amount of curl that we have in here. What I'll actually do for you guys so you can get a better look at this is I'll spray it down with some water just so you can see the kind of character we've got in this piece of wood. You can see that 3D rippled effect, that's gonna be in there. Um, this will be the main section. This will be a little bit uh, smaller section, the oval handicap section. And then we've also bought this slab and we bought that far slab. Um, there's a couple other tables. There is an M club table. So that's like a, a Marriott club table that is gonna be almost like a half log. We're gonna glue three slabs together uh, to make the appearance of a log and then we're gonna recess out the middle for some weight reduction. There's also gonna be a 12 foot communal table that's gonna go in a restaurant. So it's gonna be two end matched maple burl resin casts. Aaron is gonna take some pictures and send that to us. Uh, but right now, final thing on the list for us to do today is we are gonna drive to the Marriott right now. We're gonna go check out the hotel, put our tape measure on some things and just make sure everything looks good. Uh, but a huge, huge shout out to Aaron from Gobi Walnut for taking care of us today. You know, this couldn't have been better. He, he basically gave us his whole day. He took us through his inventory. He showed us the whole shop setup and how they do things. And he even laid out material for all of our clients to come view. So anyone who is looking for big live edge slabs, uh, especially if you're in the Oregon area, Gobi Walnut is the place to go. We are so, so happy with the service we got and we're gonna be back for sure. My dad and I are here at the Marriott right now, and 
all of this is gonna get remodeled, but I thought I would show you guys the before, so then in a few months when everything's done, you can see the after. This is the current state of the hotel. Uh, so essentially what we're gonna be doing, with that wall paneling I mentioned, we're gonna have floor to ceiling, clear walnut wall paneling going all the way along this wall uh, and all the way along this wall. They're actually gonna be ripping out this whole uh, section up here. So it's just gonna have nice tall ceilings all the way through. And then the front desk that we're building is gonna go right here. So we're gonna have this top part and then the oval section is gonna sit somewhere off to the side. So the front desk will go from there to here. And I don't know where they're going, but there is two other tables in here that we're doing, uh, one for the M Club and one for uh, that communal table. Um, but next time we're down here in Portland, hopefully everything's done and I'll be able to show everyone what it looks like when it's finished. Well, we are back in Calgary now. Uh, that was an awesome trip down in Portland, Oregon, uh, meeting Gobi Walnut. We also got to see Blacktail Studio. We ended up going for dinner with him, so that was awesome. Um, that the conference table that everyone saw in the beginning of the video, I don't know if you realize it, that slab actually came from Gobi Walnut. So that was one of their big 16 foot by uh, 6 foot wide slabs and we're super pleased with that. We picked up, like I said, a few more slabs for ourselves, and then one for the Marriott. So those tables are gonna be starting very soon, but overall, awesome, awesome trip. And then another thing I'd like to mention is that the Black Friday sale was a huge, huge success. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone who purchased some. We actually completely sold out of our, our resins. Um, we will have one more drop coming before Christmas, probably about mid-December here, so stay tuned for that on our website. And in next week's video, you're gonna be able to see us finishing JB's dining table. We were getting all the finishing coats of oil done on that. Uh, we'll probably do a time lapse or something for that and you can see the coffee table and the dining table set up. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.